Do you know what the most annoying thing about politics is for me? It's not the ideologies I oppose or the people in particular that I dislike on the other side of the aisle, even if I do dislike some of them. It's the tendency among conservatives to oversimplify things. There's nothing in the political sphere and in life in general that annoys me more than making things seem like they're easier to solve than they actually are. And my dislike of oversimplification comes from my exposure to conservative ideology at a young age. You see, when I was in high school, I lived with my stepmother and my dad, and both of them were extremely right-wing conservatives. They watched Fox News constantly, they listened to Rush Limbaugh on the way to work, the works. And I got tired of it. But I didn't get tired of it because of the ideology itself, although obviously I got annoyed by that, but rather because of their thought process. You see, during the 2012 election, when uh, the primaries were going on, my dad supported Herman Cain, and he was a big fan of his 999 tax plan. And even when I was 17, and I didn't know a whole lot about economics, I knew that there's no way that economics can be simplified down to a simple catchphrase. My AP US history teacher explained to me that Herman Cain was a demagogue, which he defined as someone who proposes very simple solutions to very complicated problems. That can sum up a lot of modern conservatism in a nutshell, actually. Very simple solutions to very complicated problems. When it comes to things like climate change, you have guys like Donald Trump saying, oh, well, it's just a hoax, you know? There's no such thing as climate change. And then when you have something like foreign policy, a lot of people are just like, oh, well, you know, we ought to just nuke all them Muslims, or something like that. You get the idea. On Fox News, you see this constantly. You see these pundits posing these broad, simple solutions, like, when it comes to anything related to the government or anything related to public policy, it's always some variant of, let's get the government out of it and just let the free market sort it out. No specifics, no answers as to how exactly we're gonna let the free market sort it out. There's just the assumption that if we let the market forces do what they will, everything will just naturally work out okay. I know this is wrong. If there's one thing that I've learned as I've gotten older, one thing that has been impressed upon me over and over and over again, one thing that I have learned and one thing that I have taken with me throughout all my conversations and throughout all the changes in my worldview is that things are complicated. And no matter how hard you try, there will always be nuance to an issue that you don't understand. There will always be things about politics or about religion or about life in general that aren't easily answerable. When people try to say things like, if we just get the government out of things, or if we just nuke the Middle East, or if we just get rid of all these taxes and replace everything with a flat tax, it bothers me. Because I know that if people who spend their lives studying things like economics don't endorse these solutions, and if they, despite their genius, still can't come up with perfect solutions, then I know that these conservatives on Fox News don't know what they're talking about. Consider, for example, John Maynard Keynes or Milton Friedman, two of the most famous economists in the world, and they aren't, I mean, and their ideas in economics are deeply, deeply flawed. Whether you're a, a Keynesian or a uh, monetarian or whatever, there's no perfect economic ideology, just like there's no perfect political ideology. I mean, I'm a social democrat, and I'm someone who believes in the value of a regulated economy and a social safety net, but I will freely acknowledge that my ideas are not perfect and that in order to solve the problems of our society, we need to think and think long and hard about all of the factors in any given issue. There is never going to be a political issue that can be solved with a simple catchphrase. No matter what your political ideology is, no matter what you believe, no matter what you think is the best way to run the world, it's never that simple. And websites like Fox News and politicians like Donald Trump and pundits like Sean Hannity or Rush Limbaugh who try to convince people who have no credentials or no expertise that these stupid little one-line solutions are the way to solve the problems of the world, 
That is what bothers me the most. It was living with my stepmom and my dad over those years in high school that convinced me that above all else, the thing that I must teach myself and the thing that I must keep with me as I learn about the world is that there will always be new things to learn and that things will never be as easy as you want them to be. That, if I was going to give anyone advice, would be the thing that I would emphasize the most. Thanks for listening. And remember, it's never that simple. Andrew Walker out.